Hi, I'm Lydia Gibson and I received my Master of Arts in Human Resources Management in 2011 from Wayland Baptist University. I have over 13 years experience as a human resources specialist for the federal government. And today I'm here to share some tips that could possibly help you in your job search. Landing the right position includes crafting an engaging resume, preparing for the interview, networking, and being able to express your personal brand. Crafting engaging resumes and cover letters enable you to stand out in a competitive job market. The cover letter introduces you to a potential employer and briefly summarizes your experience. An attention-grabbing cover letter helps to spark the interest of the hiring manager. Keep it short and sweet. Remember, it's not a resume. Aside from your contact information, your greeting, and your salutation, all you need is one paragraph to summarize your experience and achievements, another explaining why you are the perfect candidate for the position and a good match for the company, and also a summary paragraph. It should be no longer than one page. In your resume, be sure to include your name, email address, and phone number. You'd be surprised how often this is overlooked. You want to immediately grab the attention of the hiring official by including a professional summary or by listing your strongest and most relevant skills to the position you're applying for right below your contact information. For each work entry of your work experience, list your title, the company's name and location, and the dates you work there. While a job title may seem to imply certain expertise, if it is not listed or explained on your resume, the hiring official cannot make assumptions. Speak for yourself. Tailor your resume to the job description you're applying for. Identify keywords and phrases from the job description listed and apply those to your resume where applicable. One of the most important tips when listing your experience is to steer clear of bland statements. Be sure to quantify what you've done in that position and make it known how your work impacted the organization. For example, instead of listing prepared and brief reports, list prepared weekly and quarterly reports on project statuses and accurately briefed upper level management to ensure program deadlines were met. Or instead of saying, I was the point of contact for benefits, say, served as the point of contact for approximately 30 individuals, ensuring employees were educated on their benefit eligibilities and registration deadlines. Remember, this is your opportunity to shine above everyone else being considered for the same position. When listing your education, include the degree name and major, the school you attended, and your graduation date or expected graduation date. If you had a particularly high GPA or honors, this would be the place to list them as well. Consider adding voluntary, extracurricular activities, awards, or any certifications or trainings you may have. This is also the place to include any foreign language proficiencies if you have them. References are always great to list on your resume, but make sure your references know that you're seeking employment so they won't be caught off guard with those phone calls. Lastly, proofread your resume and cover letter and ask someone else to proofread it for you. The length of your resume is dependent on your work experience and education history. Um, it's important to fully describe your skills and experience, but also you don't want a 10 page resume. So, you've written a stellar resume and you get the call for an interview. Congratulations. Prepare for your interview by researching the business or organization. Google is your friend. Make yourself familiar with the company's mission, their vision, and the organization structure if you can find that as well. While the interview is an opportunity for the hiring manager to see if you're a good fit for the organization, it's also an opportunity to see if the organization is a good fit for you. Be prepared for panel interviews or one-on-one -on -one interviews. This is an important question to ask when you get the call for the interview if they don't disclose that information up front. Always ask questions. Some important questions to consider are, 
who will I be reporting to? How long has this position been, been vacant? Or is this a new position? What type of training will I receive? Is there a promotion potential? Asking questions lets the employer know that you're engaged and you're actually interested in the position and the organization. Now let's discuss networking. This is a skill that is vital to your job search and your career in general. It's all about who you know. You've probably heard that a million times, but it's the truth. Your chances of landing the position you want increase dramatically if the referral comes from a trusted employee who can actually vouch for you. LinkedIn and meetups with people in your industry or professional associations, those are all good ways to leverage networking. Also, it's a good idea to keep in contact with former coworkers and supervisors. Don't just reach out to them when you're looking for a new position. Try to keep the connections natural. For example, you can reach out to them and congratulate them on a new position, or maybe they're retiring, you can congratulate them on that, or any type of achievement. I can personally tell you that this has helped in my career progression tremendously. Um, I've been able to find out about open positions before they're even advertised and references from coworkers, supervisors, and customers have helped me to land jobs without even interviewing for them. Being able to establish your personal brand is one of the most important keys in your career. Your personal brand is who you are, what you're capable of, and what makes you valuable. Even with the lack of experience, you can land the job you want if you can convey your personal brand. Showcase your confidence, your eagerness to learn, your ability to adapt, and your ability to be a team player. Don't put yourself in a box by trying to appear to be something that you're not. Employers will see through that. Be your professional self and don't be afraid to shine. Trust the process and all the hard work you've put in. Good luck.